today we discuss about the uh, conditional and loop statements so python support if else if nested if else statements conditional statements and the for and the while loop loop statements so the conditional statement they executes the certain code only if a condition is meet or condition is true so we will see that how it's work so first conditional statement is if a statement so here is shown that if the condition is true then they will execute the remaining code otherwise they will not execute so let we can take an example if uh, x value n value assigned to variable x and if the value is greater than 0 then definitely this condition is true and they will print the result so let we can <coughs> parallelly run this code on google Colab. Uh, side so here we click it for the gate and paste it code it here and run it and see that yes it's working perfectly why because this condition is true so we call it the conditional <coughs> statement assume that if i'm writing the 20 which is condition false then they will not print anything else why because this condition false so this is the way if a statement conditional statements work because the condition is true now uh, we go a little bit uh, uh, more complex example here we use the end operation between two conditions the condition number one says that if the value of i is greater than zero then the condition true so this is the first condition now in the second condition says that what is the value of j true is a keyword which indicates the one and false indicates the zero so j is the true that means this condition is uh, defaultly true and uh, this is because of this condition is true that means true and true that is true so that's why these two both conditions are true and they will give the true result so let we can check like this so here we can say yes both conditions are true because this and this so uh, the conditional statement if a statement also support and or not operation this and can be replaced with the this one so in this uh, python programming they also support this type of the symbol so uh, there is no difference between these two things and uh, they give the same results in this case this is the or so this or this condition if any one condition is true then we can also see the result yes it's working perfectly so condition one is uh, i is equals to 10 which is greater than 10 greater than 0 and condition j is false but since we are using the or so this or this at least one condition is true that's when uh, answer is correct now we can go in a very interesting example nested uh, if condition statement so i equals to 10 j equals to 5 10 value assigned to variable i 5 value assigned to variable j now condition if i is greater than 5 yes of course that is true nested in that case so here we use the 10 so j is greater than 2 of course j is equals to 5 both conditions are true then after we can find out the nested true if any one of these condition is false then definitely the answer is no so here we can see that yes it's working perfectly assume that i just do a wrong condition that is not a true condition because j equals to 5 which is not greater than 7 then nothing will be there so this is so that yes if condition statement also working as a nested condition now we go to the second if else statement conditional uh, statement so uh, this statement checks whether a condition is true or not it executes a block of the code depend on the outcomes so if the condition is true else they will print something else if the condition false uh, earlier we have not print any else if condition is true then good otherwise nothing to be uh, printed there so here if you uh, take two examples one is i equals to 10 if condition is true then they will print like this one else they will say that uh, the another condition so let we can take and run it just copy in the google column and uh, run it so check that i equals to 10 i is greater than 5 condition is true that's why this answer is there now uh, we just do the condition false this condition is not true that means they need to print this one so if otherwise they will go else so it will be else now let me can take another example that i equals to 1 2 3 4 this is the list and uh, j equals to 3 and uh, let me will check that whether it is working or not so here i 1 2 3 4 j equals to 3 if j in i 
3 is inside this list then this condition is true else that is not present so j and i let's say they have the answer if i assume that j equals to 5 which is not the part of this list so if i am printing this one then definitely uh, else condition goes true and not present answer is there so in that case if else condition you have the else condition that means if it is not true then they will go to the else condition finally nested if else is also very useful and interesting within the if else there is another if else condition so i equals to 10 j equals to 5 if i is greater than 10 if j is greater than 0 then this one else so here this is the nested if else loop then uh, that is the one if else condition and uh, this if is true then they will do if else if this uh, is the false then they will go directly jump to that one so if condition is true so here we can do if condition is true then they will go in that if condition is true then that is the answer if condition is true condition is false then they will go to this one if this condition itself is the false then they directly goes to this one condition so here we can run it and we can check it say for example i is greater than 5 of course 0 j is also greater than 0 both conditions are true that's why this one assume that we can do one thing uh, 7 so here this condition is true but this condition is not true that's why they need to print this one let's check it yeah i is positive so they print like this one now assume that we are not worried about this one because we try to do a some false condition uh, outer side loop so false condition in the outer side loop so they will not enter in, in inner this one loop they directly jump to the else condition so in that case because the i equals to 10 i is not greater than uh, 20 so that's why they directly come to that one and print the result so this is the way how uh, nested for loop uh, nested if else con statements work now we condition this is the uh, control statement last one so we already seen that the if and in place of else if they use the uh, eli for keywords condition 2 condition 3 condition 4 and else condition let we can take this example the, this is the same as the previous one example this one here we write the if and else and in that case uh, if condition is true okay this one else if if that is not true then they will go in this condition then they will go at this condition finally they will go in that case so one after another first they check whether it is true yes if it is true then that is good if it is not true then they will check that whether this one is true or not so assume that we can do seven this is not true then they need to cross check the second one i is positive yes that is true assume that that is also not true we can write nine the i equals to five both conditions are uh, not true in that case then they need to print the else final in that condition so this is the way that first case second case third case like this one so they check each and every condition one after another and find out the answer so all these things are the conditional statement now we come to the loop statement so loop statement is used to execute a block of code repeatedly again and again for a fixed or the specific number of times you already given the number of time 5 time 10 time 20 times or uh, sometime what we have done we are not given the time bound but give a some condition if the condition is true then loop is going again and again if condition false then definitely they need to stop somewhere else so here in the loop statement there are two type of the loop statement one is the for loop other one is the while loop so for loop is used to over a sequence or uh, other objective objects let we will see so for loop some variable in that then they execute this one so uh, this is the syntax some sort of things so take an example then uh, we can easily understand so, but before the example we can see that for variable variable is uh, the name of the value or the variable some sort of thing but uh, what were the uh, attractability here so here we can see that okay this may be possible list there may be possible string there may be possible triple or some range sort of thing so that they take the value from this one and do the execution let we can take an example say for example i is a list they have the five element one two three four five indexing from the zero and uh, j is a number which we call uh, here which we call as a variable so j variable if present in the i then they will print it like this so for j so initially i equals to one two three four so j one j two j three j four j five like this one so they can run this in a five times so let we can take an example and check that so i equals to 1 2 3 4 5 j 
initial e1 because this is j equals to 1 then j equals to 2 then j equals to 3 then j equals to 4 and 5 so they will print the value of the j so this is the way that how for loops can work and how for loops can execute let we can take some more uh, interesting example assume that the, this is the list they have the three element a b c now we can take uh, the index index is starting from the beginning and uh, we can take the item from this list whatever the list is there and then we can print the index index is starting 0 1 2 and whatever the item item is a b and c let we can take uh, this example and see the output so this is another example of the for loop so it indicates that see index 0 index 1 and index 2 for index index is starting from the 0 and the item in this list so item in this list and index so they will print the index and item one after another until the uh, my list size is there number is exist now we can say that yes for loop also support the strings so the objective of this example is that yes for loop supports list string triple range whatever is there so simple then list then we can go the string so they also support the string so if we can take and print out yes uh, this is a string so we can take character as a, a variable and uh, this variable comes from this name string and print each character one by one so they print each character from the uh, name finally we can check that yes for loop also support uh, the range range from 1 to 10 that means uh, uh, they will run up to the uh, 10 times and print the value so whatever the number comes number comes from this range and we already seen that the range is starting and ending point mm -hmm. so we have seen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 because the 10 now we can go to the another uh, uh, condition that uh, earlier we have seen that the for loop without any control so here there are two type of the control statement one is the break other one is the continue in the break statement they say that uh, if you want to stop something else you can use the break statement so the current trajectory of the loop is stop and control it transfer to the outside so if i am using the break statement the uh, for loop control that means if we use the break statement they can directly jump to at that position because this is already break at this condition so if so starting x from the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and when comes to the 8 and after 8 then 9 comes into the picture they stop it why because we already gave the condition if x is greater than 8 just stop it and no need to go beyond the 8 let we can check this the output and see it so x start from 0 1 2 3 4 up to 90 and we can see that if x is greater than it just break it and print the values and finish it so they print the values what were the values uh, before the break so before the break we got the 0 to 8 they print it and after it they stop it and they are not execute anything else now we can go a little bit uh, more deeper so here we have used the four that is j in i i 1 2 3 4 so j equals to 1 2 3 and 4 so if the j equals to equals to 3 then break it otherwise they continuously print so before the whatever the values are there they will continuously print because initially j equals to 1 then j equals to 2 then j equals to 3 when the j equals to equals to 3 that means the j equals to 3 they need to break and they print that earlier whatever the values are there so they print 1 and 2 and finish their job similar to the break statement uh, the python also support the uh, continue word so it is used within a loop to skip the rest of the current interaction so that is same as this one for uh, continuity of the next objective whatever the next part is there if this condition is true then they go to the this one and skip whatever is there so that is very interesting that just see the result of uh, this uh, uh, continuous statement we can see that the result is uh, the same as the previous one why because what we are doing was continuous if this condition is true you can continue whatever the remaining portion similar as this one the same as the earlier one so this is the way that how uh, break or in the con uh, continuous statement work uh, with the for loop in python programming now we can we have seen that uh, earlier that uh, for loop and the if loop now nested for loop is also there there which indicates that one for loop another for loop so one in, inside the another this is the nested for loop sort of things so let we can see that nested for loop so here we can say that yes this is an x 1 2 3 5 4 5 6 inside the for another for loop is there and then we can print so i is starting i in x x 1 2 3 j uh, 4 5 6 so j4 i1 j4 i2 j4 3 
so j456 i111 then after i222 then after i33 so what we will do that we need to print uh, the i and j both so i going i is fixed one j varying from 456 then i equals to 2 again j456 then i equals to 3 then again j4 5 and 6 so this is the way that uh, how this nested for loop is working this is a very interesting example that they print the uh, star so the triangle so we can see that yes this is the triangle this is also another example of nested for loop that i range from 1 to 6 that is they go 1 2 3 4 5 and j is within the range of i so i equals to 1 j goes 1 i equals to 2 j goes 1 and 2 i equals to 3 then j 1 2 3 then i 4 then j 1 2 3 4 then i 5 j 1 2 3 4 5 and what they will do in one they print the star and ending with the space ending with the one space is there and change the line so this is the way that uh, uh, nested for loop is uh, working so here the end is uh, perimeter of the print functions is set an empty string so that this character are printed on the same line so here we can see that yes there is the printed on the same line at the end of this one this is the function of end now we go to the while loop after the for loop so while loop is used to rapidly execute a code or a block of the code as long as certain condition is true so why check the condition if this condition is true then they will run again and again and again if the condition is false they stop it so that we can check that uh, how while loop is working in this case so we can say that yes initially i equals to 20 if the condition is true they print it again and again and every time so in this example initially i equals to 20 i is greater than 20 they print the 20 and subtract the i equals to i minus 4 then 16 then 12 then 4 then 2 once the i is uh, 4 and once the i is 0 in that case i is not greater than 0 0 is not greater than 0 then they are not printing and stop this condition so condition is uh, false then they need to stop it and they are not working further similar is the previous one triangle printing we can also see that uh, the while loop also support the uh, like this one type of cases so j equals to 1 uh, j equals to 1 i equals to 10 i is j is less than i so this is the 10 and this is the one so one triangle print print the tri uh, star and increase increment the j now j equals to 2 so still j is less than i so two times then three times then four times once they will cover the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then they stop it why because the condition goes false and at that time they need to stop it in the triangle now the interesting thing is that how we can find out one triangle two triangle three triangle with the help of this one the triangle printing and how much number of triangles are required the multiply the value of the j initially j equals to one therefore one star two star three star and four star so this is the way that how we can reprint the same symbol again and again in the python you can use the symbol multiply by the number of uh, times you want to repeat that triangle now we can check that there is another interesting where we use the while loop for loop and break all together so there are three things are there so one is the while condition check if the condition is true then they go here if i is also true then they do the break print it and complete it so it is very interesting say for example initially i equals to 20 i equals to 20 i is not equals to it then print the value of the 20 and subtract then they go to the 16 again condition false so 16 condition this one is true but this condition is false they print the value of 16 then subtract now it is the 12 so again the condition false they print the 12 and this is now they subtract 8 so 8 is not uh, this is condition is true but uh, 8 is equals to 8 then they break it and print it and stop it so this is the way that how it is working finally this is the last one where we use the continuous so here we use the break here we use the continue uh, uh, keyword and we can check that yes initially i equals to one i starting from one and i is less than 15 yes condition is true if i mod 4 that means whatever the values are there the range of the i which is the 4 8 12 then gives the zero rest of the things give some values so 4 gives some value in that case you can if this condition is true then you can increase the value of i and continue if uh, this condition itself is the false then you can go to the print the value of i and increase the value of i so initially i equals to one okay fine this condition is true but this condition is not true you can print the value of i 
and increase the value of i again increase 2 then 3 when the 4 comes into the picture after increment 4 mod 4 equals to 0 at that time they will increase and directly jump to that one because they continuous of this one so this is the way that how we can do all these things so when 4 is 4 then they increase the value and print it so that is not the 4 that print the 5 because the condition is true and they increase here i value so in place of 4 we find out the value of the 5 because 2 times increment is there in that case so this is all about that how you use the for loop for with break if loop for with break so uh, today we end it here uh, part 4 loop and uh, control statements now in the part 5 we will discuss more about the number data type how we can use the number data type